In this video, let's take a look at history mode on the RTB2000 and we'll talk about when you might want to use it and then how do you go about setting it up. Um, so this is a, a really good example of a time that you might want to use it. Something like history mode or segmented memory is really powerful when it comes to a bursty signal. And um, so as you can see here, we have a signal where there's a burst or a packet of information and then there's a fair amount of idle time and then another packet. And as you can imagine, um, you may not want to digitize and capture all of that idle time. You may not care about that. You may only care about the packet itself. And so in this case, what you can do is you can tell the scope to trigger and store just a um, set amount of information uh, around that packet and then wait until the next trigger and then store that information, wait until the next one, etc. And so this is really powerful again when it comes to bursty signals. So. What we'll do on this one to set up history mode is pretty simple. Um, what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna tell the scope um, by adjusting the time base what um, the signal is that I wanna look at. And so I'll go ahead and zoom in on this a little bit more. And so as we zoom in, you'll see we have the packetized information. Um, and you can see now that there's some different packets that are happening and we're gonna capture each of those as we go through um, with history mode, but we're gonna ignore all that idle time now until the next packet. And so you go under menu. One really nice thing about our history mode, if you have that option, is it's always running in the background. So you never have to worry about, do I turn it on? Did I not turn it on? Um, et cetera. Basically you come in, you hit history mode, um, and you get a number of different settings. And one of the first things that you'll notice is this auto. And so auto is gonna go through and try to select um, the best record length and the number of segments and the overall total memory um, that the scope is gonna use to capture those. But let's say that you didn't care if the scope was sampling at two and a half giga samples, because this is a pretty slow signal and you wanted to capture more segments. You would go ahead and turn off auto then, and then you could come in and you can adjust your record length down and in this case, we might say, you know, I, I don't need um, that fast of sample um, sample rate. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the minimum. And we'll go with 15.6 mega samples per second at a record length of 10 kilosamples. And now I can change my number of segments and I can max that out all the way up to 13,000 segments. We're using 130 mega samples of memory, just a huge amount for this class of scope. And basically what you're gonna do then is you're gonna say show history. And so now you can see the scope is gonna count up and it's gonna keep capturing waveforms um, as it goes through there. And once we're ready to see um, all of those waveforms that it's captured, and it's basically putting those into a circular buffer. So, um, you know, as a new one comes in, the last one drops out, all you do is you hit stop. And so now as we hit stop, we've captured 2,471 of these waveforms. We can step through each one and you can see that they are changing as we go through. Um, if we want, there's a bunch of different options that we can do on the um, uh, waveforms themselves. Um, we can have them play through, we can have it repeat, we can change the speed at which it plays through. You can overlay the waveforms so you can see them all on top of each other. Um, we can average them, we can see the envelope of it, etc. Now there was one more thing in there that you might have noticed when you go in history mode and that is fast segmentation. And so what fast segmentation allows you to do is History mode has a certain rearm time, and because history mode is always running in the background, that rearm time is gonna include us displaying the waveforms to the um, actual display. So we process them and then plot them to the display. If you need a really fast rearm time into the millions of waveforms per second, you can use something that's called fast segmentation. And fast segmentation then will ignore displaying the waveforms to the um, display, plotting them to the display, and will rearm as quickly as possible. And then when you hit stop, um, you can walk back through them, it'll plot them to the display, but you'll get a much faster rearm time then, which is basically how fast the scope triggers, um, processes the information, and then makes it available to you. 